boy E-Man go crazy. And I'm back again talking about the gym rat badge. 2K is always vague on how you get the gym rat badge. And this year, they're pretty much giving you a quest on how to get the gym rat badge. But there's another way, and I'm here to explain that for you today. So as you can see, I'm going through some of the drills that you can do to get the gym rat badge. So there are five different categories that you need to complete one drill in to get the gym rat badge. There's speed, stamina, strength, acceleration, and vertical. And also, during these drills, you have to at least get three to four stars to count towards your gym rat badge progress. So for Xbox players, if you don't get that three to four stars, I dashboard out. PS5 players, I'm not really sure, so whatever the equivalent is to dashboard, I would do that as well. So as you can see here, I'm finishing up my last drill so I can go ahead and get my Gatorade boost completed for this week. So as you can see, I got three stars. And boom, I completed my workout. Gatorade Turbo Boost is applied. So basically what the gym rat badge is, is you always have the Gatorade Turbo Boost and you do not have to go through those workouts to get that. So me being the guy that I am, I had to make sure that 2K didn't put in the fine print that you could get the gym rat badge another way. So I googled it and this is what I found. So just to give you guys proof, my gym rat badge is not complete. I have nine out of 50 three stars earned on the badge towards my progress. But as you can see here, I have the gym rat badge acquired on my player. So pretty much what I figured out is that you can get that gym rat badge if you win the championship and I'm guessing, I'm not 100% sure, but on the previous 2Ks, if you play 55 games, non-simulated, and win the championship, you get your gym rat badge. So you can see I'm in my second season, but in my first season right here, I played 62 games in that career. I'm only one game into my new season. So over the years of playing 2K, Fouling out is the quickest way to get through with the game. I know it's not the most prestigious way to get out of a game, but it's definitely the fastest way to get out of a game. Number two, play five minute quarters. So playing five minute quarters is gonna be the next best thing to try to get you out of that game as quick as possible. And last but not least, be up by 25 points after halftime and ask out of the game. This can only be done if you are starting and this does count as a game played, not a simulated game. So for me, I'm a guy that plays 12 minute quarters and what I try to do is I just blow the team out. Then after halftime, I ask out of the game and I also work on my badges as well that way. Well, all right, guys, that's the end of the video. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Don't 
don't forget to subscribe, turn on them notifications, and we'll definitely be back with more content from NBA 2K this year. Alright guys, it's your boy E-Man Go Crazy. I'm out.